Weekly Hall Woods, and it's a way, way overdue visit. I tested my drone here back in the summer, but that doesn't count. It's early in the morning, and it looks like it's going to be a stunning sunrise. After a lot of recent rain, the forecast is for a day of fine weather, albeit with a definite autumnal feel. Adjacent to the wood is a working quarry and landfill site. I make my way down the path, and the sun just peeps over the top of the trees, painting the trunks of the conifers orange. Above me the crescent moon is still visible in the sky and the leaves are now beginning to turn and the glorious colours of autumn will intensify over the coming weeks. It's a good few years since I was last here to film wildlife and I'm guilty of overlooking it when I'm thinking of local places to film but now as part of this area is under threat from development I really must come here more often through the autumn and winter. I've heard robins singing all around when I spot this one on the edge of the hawthorn bush. The robin was voted the UK's favourite bird. Before urbanisation, the robin was strictly a woodland bird, but then found rich pickings and good habitat in suburban gardens. As I make my way down the path, to my right is a meadow that's been allowed to return to scrub. More excellent habitat. Here used to be a wooden fence with a stile and beyond that a grass covered ride but now has been paved. I pass through the gate and see a dark shape about 150 yards ahead. It's a fallow deer doe. Fallow deer vary in colour and she is one of the melanistic variety whose colour ranges from almost black to chocolate brown. It's reported that deer eyesight isn't as good as that of humans and depend much more on hearing and smell. So while I'm standing still, she probably can't work out what I am. But as soon as I move, she will too. And off she goes. And with her, a fawn. Absolutely superb. It's the first fallow deer that I've filmed in a long time. And it's worth getting up just for that. The sun has risen higher, and it really is a glorious autumn morning. I reached the part of the path where the fallows stood. But now the doe and her fawn are deep in the woods. I look up ahead to where the path turns right and to the left of the path I remember a gateway beyond which is estate personnel only. Over the gate there are two rides where I've seen hare and muntjac deer before but today it's just a grey squirrel. The rides for the moment are empty. I move on and the path turns left but it's always worth looking down the several gated rides for maybe another fallow or a muntjac deer. I've heard them barking. I also head down to the far gate to see what I can see from there. It looks like a distant pheasant on the path when distant birds fly across the gap in the hedge, caught by the sunlight, but I can't tell what they are. I turn back in the direction I've just come towards the path and the rising sun casts a long shadow. I've just seen a flock of winter thrushes fly overhead. They were red wing and I always look forward to the arrival of these stunning birds. 
Weekly Allwood is stunning habitat with its mix of conifers and native varieties. I reach the point where the woodland path reaches a narrow country lane. In this direction lies the village of Geddington. And in the opposite direction lies Geddington Grange. I head back in the direction that I've just come, but I don't really expect to see that much more wildlife. It's later now when the wood is popular with cyclists, walkers and joggers. I pass fungi growing in the trees at the side of the path. I'm not particularly well genned up on fungi, but they could be common fun. I see more red wing fly overhead, and once again, I don't have my camera ready. So I wait to see if any more pass by, and there we are. A few intermittent groups of these autumn and winter visitors that visit the UK between November and April. It looks like there are no more red wing to come, so I move on and more and more cloud appears and the light isn't so good now. I see a small flock of birds in the treetops. The shot isn't very good, but they are goldfinch. And lower down, blue tit feed among the hawthorns. I'm back at where my journey began, earlier this morning before sunrise. I think this is one of the areas earmarked for development and its excellent habitat for seed eating birds and various invertebrates and in spring and summer it's teeming with dragonflies, butterflies and damselflies and that's it, I'm going to head home so I'll leave you with the music and some of the beautiful autumn colours here today <laughs>